Good afternoon guys, today we are working on the 2017 Dodge Ram 1500. What we're going to do today is we're going to change the oil and the air filter. Look at those beautiful stars, I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me. So the first thing we're going to do on this truck is we're going to change the air filter. What I have here is a Fram Extra Guard uh, CA9401. This is the engine air filter uh, that fits the 5.7 liter Hemi that's in this truck. Uh, I picked this up at Walmart. I think it was like 13 bucks, give or take. Um, so we're going we're gonna to work on getting this in the truck. The one that's in it, it's probably got 25,000 miles on it. I just hit 50,000 on the truck today. So we're going to you know, change this out. Um, you really should be changing it, well, at least according to this, every 12,000 miles. Um, so uh, the dealer has told me every 20,000 miles. I'm at about 25,000 miles on it, so we're going to change it when we do the oil. In order to get the air filter out of this particular truck, there's a clip here, 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 and here. So there's four clips on this air filter box. I'm just going to pop them off. We are going to pop this guy up here like so, slide it back, and now, now you can see the air filter. Now that we've got access to the air filter, I'm going to pull this out of here like this. Oh yeah, the mice love this. So this, is the, this is the filter that I just pulled out of the truck. This is the, what's covering the battery. The mice have apparently been chewing that. Um, this filter's really, I mean, it's dirty, but I've seen worse. And I did put my note at, changed at 25,000 miles. Um, so it's definitely due. It's absolutely due for a change. So we're gonna put the new one in. So we've gotta unbox this guy here. So, brand new filter, reverse procedure. Slide that in, like so. Push the housing back a little bit, because there's tabs on the back side of it. There we go, that side's in, there we go. Right. Once the tabs are in, you can re-push in the, you can push, push the latches back on. And you're done. So now that we've got the air filter changed in this RAM, we're gonna work on getting the oil filter and oil changed in the RAM. Once we're comfortable where the truck is, we're going to climb under here with our 13 millimeter socket. Sometimes I find after the dealer has services, I don't know what they do, but they wrench that thing on there hard and I've got to use the 3 8 breaker bar to get it off. So, uh, or I did the last change myself, so I didn't really need that breaker bar. So we're going to pull this out and let the oil drain. Once most of the oil is drained out of this guy, we will put the drain plug back in here, like so. And then I just take a rag, wipe up any excess oil, try to be neat about what you're doing. Um, I'll take my ratchet here. if I put it in the right direction and I just snug it it doesn't have to be Superman tight just enough or it's not gonna back out don't go putting your breaker bar on it to tighten it 
that's not a good idea. Now that we've got the oil drained and the drain plug back in our in our ram, um, we're going to work on, we're going to move to the front of the truck here and we're going to work on removing the oil filter. This truck uses uh, a Mopar MO-339 oil filter. Um, you can get these on Amazon, uh, eBay, uh, Walmart even carries them. Um, I typically, in any of my cars, especially with the oil filter, will use OEM factory oil filters. I don't typically mess around with that. So um, I'll put a link in the description where I got this and we'll work on uh, removing that filter. These guys are also ha handy. They're channel lock oil filter pliers, uh, part number 2012. Um, I think I got these off of Amazon as well. They're angled so you can kind of get in there and uh, crack it loose. One thing I can absolutely recommend when doing this filter uh, is to have cardboard down and a rag handy. Uh, where it is, let me see if I can get the camera up there. Let's see if I can sit, sit it right there. So I can watch. So the filter, the filter on this truck is all the way back here. Um, and it's right over the electronic steering rack. It's, it's, it's such a silly place to put it. I have no idea why they put it there. So you'll take your channel lock pliers, and this is why you want the angled ones, because um, you, you, you won't get the straight ones on there, I don't believe. Um, you have a hard time getting the angled ones on there too. Um, I've done this on a lift before. It's much, much easier on a lift than it is uh, on the ground. This is, this is the hardest part of this job. It is starting to drip. And again, it will be full of oil. And if the truck has been run, it will be hot. So you definitely want to put some gloves on. I will typically let it drip a little bit and get that surplus oil out because um, you're going to get it out of the the, the filter, anything that's overflown from the filter. And uh, then I'll pull it down as an as a as a unit. And that, folks, that's why you want to have gloves on and a rag handy because it's not very easy to get at so we'll let that drip for a few minutes and that's also why you want to have cardboard on your floor because uh, you don't want this mess all over your floor once we get the filter off things have dripped a little bit we'll take our rag and we'll just go up there and clean the surface off a little bit that way you know we get rid of some of the old oil this truck takes uh, Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic 5W20. Uh, that's what's in the back of the book. So that's what I use. Same thing with my Jeep. So what we'll do is we'll open up this new filter. And this is difficult to do with this filter just because of its location. Um, what I do is I'll put a little bit of oil in the filter on the threads and on the seal. And that just makes it easier to, well, it does a couple things. First of all, uh, whoever changes the oil next, it makes it easier uh, for the filter to come off without it being, you know, without the chance of it being seized up there. And then it also pre-fills the filter so that when you go to crank the truck for the first time, um, it does not, uh, it, you know, you don't, you don't, it doesn't have to fill with oil. <laughs> which sometimes on this truck is easier said than done. Now that we've got our filter changed on the Ram, we're gonna start adding new, new oil to, to the engine. This 5.7 Hemi takes seven quarts, um, according to the owner's manual. Um, Pennzoil is one of the brands that's recommended in the back. This is what I've seen other guys running in, in these uh, Chrysler Mopar motors. So this is what I've been running in the Jeep for a long time. Um, it's 5W20, and so that's what we're gonna put in the truck today. What we'll do is we'll pull the filler cap here, which can be tight. Uh, there is a rubber O-ring on it that we have to be careful. Um, 
they have a tendency to rip and you can get replacements. I have a bag of them I bought off of Amazon for a couple of bucks. On this particular truck, I need something to step on to get up here. Let's put our funnel in here. This truck takes seven quarts, so we will use one full five uh, quart bottle of this and then two quarts from the other bottle. Lucky, because I have two quarts of a previously opened bottle of 5W20 Penzol oil full synthetic. So we'll just pour this right in. Now we can put our fill plug back in. Unfortunately, I can't find my bag of O-rings that I've got kicking around. So we'll just, I'll put a link in the description, but I'll go back and change that later. Now that we've got the oil drained, the new filter installed, the new fresh oil in the engine, uh, what we need to do is crank over the engine a couple times, prime, uh, you know, make sure the oil flows around the system, start it up, and then we'll reset the oil life counter. So one thing I do is I crank it a couple of times. I don't let it start, just to prime the system of oil. Each time getting a little longer. And that should be good. And I, unfortunately this part didn't record the other day uh, when we did the oil change in the truck. So I'm going to show you how to do the um, oil life reset counter. So first thing you need to do is put the truck into run. Don't start it. Just have it come up into run. And you'll scroll to see where it says vehicle information, oil life indicator. Now I'm not gonna reset this because I just did this the other day and unfortunately the camera did not capture it. It wasn't recording. So you'll press the arrow key, the right arrow key. You'll hold it. It's gonna ask you confirm to reset. You're gonna click okay. You're gonna press the arrow key again and that is that's pretty much it you're like i said i'm not going to do this right now because i just did this yesterday oh saturday um so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna reset it again because it'll screw with my um mileage count so but that's how you do it it's pretty easy pretty straightforward unfortunately i didn't ca for some reason the camera didn't capture it the other day uh when i did the oil change well guys that concludes this video uh on the 2017 ram 1500 uh today we went over changing the oil the oil filter uh and the air filter on the truck uh, we topped it, you know, we put fresh oil in it. We also reset the oil life indicator. Uh, if, if you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe below. Turn on your post notifications. Uh, leave me a comment, uh, send me a message, uh, ask questions, etc. Um, you can also follow along on social media. I'll put all the links in the description.